Hey everyone, Quaglon here. Today we're going to take a look at each evolved weapon from the DLCs Tides of the Foscari and Legacy of the Moon Spell. First off, we have Spellstrom. Spellstor. Yeah, Spellstrom. Which is a union between Spellstring, Spellstream, and Spellstrike. Spellstrom emits a lot of blue particles, creating two gravity wells which orbit around the character and leave behind a dotted particle path. Once in a while, the two gravity wells spiral in and crash, dealing damage to all enemies. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Spellstrom. And these are all the arcana that affect Spellstrom. Next up, we have Legionnaire, which is the evolution of Ezkizibur, evolved with armor. Legionnaire creates sword swings around the character and also clones of the character traveling in the direction the player is moving or last moved. It may also strike at the ground every fifth attack, cracking it for a huge area of effect damage. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Legionnaire. And these are all the arcana that affect Legionnaire. Next up, we have Luminaire, which is the evolution of Prismatic Missile, evolved with the crown. Luminaire creates rainbow beams that strike at all enemies vertically. It also makes a few intricate circles rotating counterclockwise and periodically rains down white beams, which both are just cosmetics. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Luminaire. And these are all the arcana that affect Luminaire. Next up, we have Millionaire, which is the evolution of Flash Arrow, evolved with Bracer and Clover. Millionaire shoots an arrow in the direction the player is moving or last moved. It can pierce through many enemies. When collecting gold, gold bags, or defeating enemies with the arrow, yellow bullets rain down on the screen. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Millionaire. And these are all the arcana that affect Millionaire. Next up, we have Ophion, which is the evolution of Shadow Servant, evolved with Skolomaniac. Ophion summons stationary dark energy orbs with purple smoke and an Ouroboros spinning in the middle. When it expires, it explodes and extends a bit beyond its normal area. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Ophion. And these are all the arcana that affect Ophion. Here we are in Legacy of the Moon Spell. First, we have Festive Winds, which is the evolution of Silverwind, evolved with Pomerola. Festive Winds shoots energy orbs that hover around the character with an oval area, leaving a blue, green, or yellow trail and sparkles behind. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Festive Winds. And these are all the arcana that affect Festive Winds. Next up, we have Godai Shuffle, which is the evolution of four seasons, evolved with spinach and Candelabrador. Godai Shuffle makes a bunch of beads orbiting around the character far away. It then causes five explosions with rocks, bamboo leaves, fire, water crystals, and a ball of air with horizontal lightning. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Godai Shuffle. And these are all the arcana that affect Godai Shuffle. Next up, we have Echo Knight, which is the evolution of Summon Knight, evolved with the Duplicator. Echo Knight summons claws above and below the character, alternatively from the top and bottom of the screen, leaving behind a lingering damage zone of dark clouds. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Echo Knight. And these are all the arcana that affect Echo Knight. Next up, we have Jodor, which is the evolution of Mirage Robe, evolved with a Tract Orb. Jodor shoots out mirages that look like the afterimage of the character, which frees enemies. Enemies may get confused by some mirages and chase it instead of the player. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Jodor. And these are all the arcana that affect Jodor. Next up we have Muramaza, which is the evolution of Night Sword evolved with a stone mask. Muramasa creates a series of slashes at the closest enemies. When retaliating, it slashes six times around the character, and it can retaliate every 0.6 seconds. While using Muramasa, your health will drain slowly, but to offset this, the weapon also has a small chance to generate hearts when attacking. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Muramasa. And these are all the arcana that affect Muramasa. Next up, we have Boo Roo Bool 
which is the evolution of Millie Bull Blue, evolved with Spellbinder. Boo Roo Bull shoots colorful bubbles at the enemy closest to the player character, which linger on the ground. These are all the stats and passive items that affect Boo Roo Bull. And these are all the arcana that affect Boo Roo Bull. That's it for these evolved weapons. Thanks for watching and see you next time.